Today's video we start with a hydration chart. Am I hydrated? Aim for clear urine at least 10 times a day. Eat a diet rich in fresh fruits and vegetables. Drink a quart of water before meals. Thank you. So welcome to the tips for the Booper Challenge 2014. It's next Friday, 24th of January. Starts in Adelaide, starts in Unley, about 3K south of Adelaide. Uh, for those who do know, it goes up the expressway. That's that longest climb. It's probably gonna take you take you about 30 minutes to 40 minutes to get up there depending on your fitness level so it goes to Sterling then to Allgate Mile this is all pretty much downhill downhill pretty much from the top of the freeway all the way down to Mount Compass there's a few little rises but nothing much more downhill to Moponga and Moponga is where we have the climb the second biggest climb of the day I will cut to that now base this is where you turn off here so the reservoir sign there my Ponga Reservoir Road. The flies will come and greet you. It's 44 degrees right now. This is the start of the hill. Um, on Strava, it says about 5% gradient. That looks a little bit steeper than 5%, but like any hill, ease into it. I'll be riding the wattage. I'll sit on 2 or 3 watts per kilo, just cruising up, talking to the flies. Let's go check out what this hill's all about. The Garmin says 11%. See on my shoulder here. It's a little bit of a wall. 12% gradient now. I'm sitting on 45 cadence. I'm in my 34, 28. Sitting at 3 watts per kilo. A lot of people are going to struggle on this climb because they're going to hit it. They're going to fucking hit it at 6 watts per kilo at the bottom. <laughs> and they're going to get to this 12% wall up here and just be get off and walk. A lot of people are going to walk this climb because they didn't have a power meter. They didn't have a compact crank set with a 28 or a 32 in the back. And I'm getting too old. No, you just got the wrong gear, man. You got the wrong gear, so... It's not a tough climb, but... People will tackle it with the wrong pacing strategy, with no power meter, so no idea what their pacing is. And their gearing is probably going to be really... Bad choices. So there you go. Little wall. About to hit the top. Last little corner there. Not a challenging climb, but people will make it challenging because of their pacing strategies. Simple as that. The problem is the climb goes like that and then it flattens off. So it's just the first two to four minutes where you really gotta pace yourself well. Just follow your power meter. Good as gold. So here we're riding up, I was with Team AG2R, riding up the freeway. This is the first climb, this is the biggest climb of the day. Biggest climb of the day for those who aren't used to South Australia. This is a very popular climb. It's going to take you between 22 to 50 minutes, depending on your fitness levels, to get this climb. You can see here the pro riders, nice easy cadence. Nice easy cadence. They're riding with the power meters, just spinning, just spinning. You want to have gears that let you spin at least 80, 80 RPM. If you can't spin comfortably 80 RPM, then you're in the wrong gear. Simple as that, you're losing power. You're losing power. So I do recommend getting a power meter. Get a power meter and you'll quickly learn what is the best cadence for you. And you'll quickly learn that between 80 and 100 is gonna be your best climbing cadence. So look how easy those people make it. They make it look at easy because they use the correct gearing. Simple as that. So that's going to be a big tip for the Booper Challenge is have your power meter on, have compact cranks, and we'll get some more tips in a second. But this is the first climb of the day. And some more little climbs like this. All day there's a few one minute, two minute climbs. Just little little rises. Nothing, nothing that's going to hurt you too much. Get out the saddle, spin a little bit up the climb. By getting out the saddle you use different muscle groups and it just makes it a little bit easier. So you out the saddle halfway up. See the right on the left, how much the saddle swags, wags side to side, that's what you want. You want your saddle to wag as much as possible. This is the downhill section, fast downhill section to Ashbourne. Very quick section, be careful if you're riding in a big bunch. Um, if you're not too confident in it being in a pace line, maybe sit off the back. 
but this is definitely a very very fast section coming down through to Ashbourne very fast section um, we were sitting on about 50k an hour here quite a fast section and if you get a bit of a tailwind it will be even faster so make sure you stay hydrated during, during the ride you want to be peeing in the bushes at least every two hours if you're not peeing clear in that hydration chart we saw at the start of the video you're dehydrated if you're not peeing every two hours you're dehydrated you're not going to enjoy the ride as much because now you're dehydrated i've been training with these pro teams for a long time going out with them in adelaide for the last 10 years every two hours these pro teams stop to piddle on the bushes you want to be hydrated a lot of girls out there say oh it's easy for you man no 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 no, no. I tra all the women i train with man they all pee in the bushes as well you've got to be hydrated you got to pee every two hours, otherwise you're going to dehydrate yourself and you're going to feel crap, especially if it's hot. 